faults in wine. In this lesson, we will look at the two faults that are most commonly found in wine, oxidation and cork taint. Once we've done this, we'll look at the importance of storage and how it can prevent these faults. Let's start off with talking about oxidation. Oxidation in wine is the loss of colour, flavour and aroma. It's the most likely fault to be found in wine, and it can happen throughout the winemaking process when wine comes into contact with oxygen, ultimately spoiling the wine. Oxidation most commonly occurs because there has been a mistake in the way a cork is inserted into the bottle, meaning the seal is not completely airtight. This then allows small amounts of oxygen into the bottle where it can then react with the wine. The two easiest ways to notice oxidation are the following. Firstly, the wine will often be slightly discoloured. Red wines can turn a light red brick colour, while white wines often turn slightly brown. And secondly, the flavour becomes similar to that of port or sherry. In other words, there is an unusual sweetness to the wine. Sometimes it will even taste like vinegar. More commonly, though, it will taste like cooked fruit or have walnut flavours. If you think you've found oxidised wine, it's always worth having a second opinion from either your sommelier or your manager. They will be able to let you know whether you were right and then take the necessary steps to replace the bottle of wine. Next, let's talk about cork taint. As the name suggests, only wines that have corks can become corked. Corked wines are those whose corks have picked up a disease known as trichloroanisole, or TCA. While TCA is not dangerous to humans, it does affect wine in a negative way by making its aromas earthy, mouldy and musty. Cork taint happens because the wine needs to be in constant contact with the cork in order to create an effective seal against oxygen. However, if the cork has TCA, it then has the opportunity to contaminate the wine. To test if wine is corked, all you need to do is pour a little of the wine into a glass and smell it. If it smells of damp basement, wet cardboard, soggy newspaper or mushrooms, then it is corked and mustn't be served to your guests. A common mistake that people make is that they believe their wine is corked if there are little pieces of cork in their wine once it has been poured. This is not corked wine, but is simply the result of the cork breaking and pieces of it falling into the bottle when it is being opened. To get rid of these tiny pieces, use a strainer when pouring the wine into a glass or decanter. If you think that a bottle of wine is corked, ask your sommelier or manager to have a smell and let you know what they think. They will let you know whether you're right or not and go about replacing the bottle. Finally, let's talk about storage. When it comes to storing wine correctly, its biggest enemies are heat and oxygen. This means that wines need to be stored in such a way that they are never exposed to direct sunlight or any form of heat for an extended period. Along with this, any opportunity for oxygen to get into the wine bottle needs to be prevented. Let's take a look at the things that are important when storing wine. Firstly, wine bottles should always be stored on their side, because this keeps the cork in the bottle moist. It is this moisture in the cork which helps to make the seal in the bottle effective when it comes to keeping oxygen out of the bottle. Secondly, white and rosé wines that you intend to serve should always be stored in the fridge. This is because they need to be served at around 9 degrees Celsius. And thirdly, wine should always be stored in places where they won't be exposed to direct sunlight or artificial light for extended periods of time. This is why wines are stored in underground cellars. Not only is it a cool area, protecting the wine from heat, but it is also a dark area protecting the wine from light. So, if you have a Chardonnay that is a yellow-brown colour and tastes very sweet, almost like a dessert wine, would you say this wine has a fault? Which fault? 
If you said yes, the wine is oxidized. You are perfectly correct.